Hey, how's it going everyone? I know it's been a while, but today I have a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con that broke. This is actually the left one and I've already disassembled it. I'm sorry I did that, but the reason why is because this Joy-Con actually belongs to me and I was trying to see what was going on and try to get it repaired for my kids. Um, I did lend them my OLED Switch and they dropped it and broke the left bumper. So as you can see here, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, this bumper is loose. It actually ripped from the traces that are located down here and here. It's actually only being held by this joint right here. Um, but I went ahead and got a replacement part from Amazon that can easily fix it. This is just that button right here. This one's going to go located exactly the way you see it. So you can see here that it's going here. And then we're simply just going to fold this piece up. I did go ahead and open it up already and I just simply remove this and the battery. It's pretty easy to do so. I do have another video that showcases how to exactly go through those steps. But for mine, I already opened it up like I mentioned and we're just gonna go through the final steps and replace this little ribbon cable and get it repaired. The only thing that we're gonna need here at this point is to simply, um, let me go ahead and get a spudger. We're gonna need to remove this ribbon right here. So you have this little latch and we're just gonna simply flip this up and that should free it up. There we go. Once that's removed, then we can go ahead and just um, get that out of the way. The next step is to remove these three screws. Now these are being held down by double zero Phillips screws. So I have a double zero bit here and we're just simply gonna go ahead and remove these. And these are the ones that hold down that button. And once these are removed, then you should be able to remove this cable. So you can see here that, let me go ahead and zoom out just to show you exactly how it's placed. So similar to the one that we have, this one's gonna be just folded up and then it's gonna be placed back exactly where it, where it was before, right? So this should be a pretty straightforward fix. So one of the easiest ways that we can put this back is by aligning this little notch that's located right here and pressing it up against this piece of plastic that's located right here. When you place that right up against it, this should line everything up and make it a lot easier. And the next thing that we're gonna wanna do after that is you can see here that that hole is, um, is lined up properly. So we can just simply get the, the screw and then put this back just to kind of hold everything in place. Once you have this screw in place, you're gonna simply bend this back and you wanna make sure that these two holes align as well as that third one down here. So let me see if I can uh, hold this down in place so you can see that. And make sure just not to bend it too much. The whole goal is just to simply align everything together. So here you can see the three holes are lined up. Once you have those lined up, just simply screw the everything back together and you should be good. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, when you're putting these screws back, you wanna be very careful because the plastic is very delicate and you can easily strip this and then you're gonna need a replacement housing. And that's gonna cost you a lot more than just you know being very careful. It, it really doesn't take a lot. And I, I really mean it doesn't take a lot to actually strip this plastic. So be very, very careful when you're putting that back together. So once you have all the screws back on, the next piece is to simply put the ribbon cable back on. So here we have uh, the ribbon cable and the one thing that you're going to want to note is that this flap should be up and not down right so you just got to be very careful uh, to make sure that this is actually in the right orientation here i'm going to use a pair of tweezers to kind of help me put this back into its original spot so here you can see that it's in place and we're just going to go ahead and lock it to make sure that it's secured we're gonna put this casing back on. Normally you don't take this off, but in the case that you do, you're gonna to wanna to connect this into this slot right here. Now the pins are gonna be facing up, so this is the shiny side up, and we simply connect it here like I mentioned. So one thing I wanna point out is that this housing, when you're putting it back, you can actually run into issues with this ribbon cable if you don't tuck it in properly. So here, when I'm rotating it, sometimes this piece of ribbon, as you can see here, can get caught on the outside of the plastic. You just wanna make sure that it's uh, going inside this groove and not sitting on the outside. So that way you can prevent any uh, potential issues in damaging that cable. So now that everything's back together, I'm gonna go ahead and test this L button really quick and see 
if everything feels fine and it does before I go ahead and screw this in because otherwise you have to remove everything and start over right so we want to avoid that so now that everything is good we're going to go ahead and put these two screws in and we should be done once we put the battery back on so let's put the battery back you just want to make sure that the two cutouts that are located in the bottom so you can see that here right you can see the the cutouts are located in the bottom you want to make sure that those are going to be pressed up against uh, those two metal prongs that are located right there and it's pretty straightforward you just want to put some pressure like i mentioned and that should secure so you can see here that that's on there nicely want to wrap this around and then just simply put the battery back on once everything's on there um, we can close the joy con controller and put the remaining screws and everything should be fine after this there we go now the only thing that remains is putting these four screws back in and these are y double zero um, screws that I, and i'm actually using a, a bit here actually these are not magnetic so we're gonna have to do this manually so now that everything's assembled let's go ahead and test it out and see if everything is working so here we have the L Joy-Con. This is the one that was broken. So let's test that L button and everything seems to be working again. So like I said, that was an easy fix. Let's test the rest of these buttons and might as well test the right ones and see if everything's good. Everything seems to be working. So it looks like everything is in order. So as you all saw, it really didn't take a lot to fix this L trigger. And in case you all don't have the tools for this, you can honestly buy them on Amazon and they're fairly cheap. Um, just look for tools that open up the Nintendo Switch and they should be somewhere between three to five dollars, I want to say. So another thing that I want to mention is a huge shout out to all my subscribers. We hit a thousand subscribers and it was honestly one of the happiest moments of my life. I know it was a huge milestone for me. I didn't really think that anyone would be interested in this stuff. I just kind of did it um, as a hobby, just as an enjoyment. I did get motivated by some of the folks that are out there. Definitely people like Northridge Fix and Tronic Fix. Um, they're huge motivators that got me into this and I really enjoy and I love the problem solving aspect of this hobby. So once again, I wanna thank everyone that's been out there that supports this channel. Thank you. I hope to continue to provide more entertaining content. I'll try to get better as time goes. I'm still pretty new to YouTube, believe it or not. I know it's only been a year, but I'm trying to make things better and I'm trying to learn software and get uh, new hardware as we go so once again thank you all for watching and if you are new to this channel please be sure to hit that subscribe and if you like today's content please be sure to hit that like button i'll catch you all next time